Welcome back to the hood table one more again. Please come on in, like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Now, we are going to be discussing some breaking news that has came in regarding Jelani Day's cause of death, which has been determined by the coroner's office of LaSalle County that the cause of death was drowning. Jelani Day's death is said to have been caused by drowning, according to the LaSalle County Coroner's Office. Now, as most of you who've been following this story already know, the 25-year-old college student Jelani Day went missing in August while studying to be a doctor at Illinois State University and was last seen on August 24th at the university's campus in Bloomington, Illinois. His parents had reported him missing on August 25th, and his car was found two days later in Peru, Illinois. Now, his family has always suspected foul play in their son's death and have, are still urging people to come forward because somebody has got to know something regarding this young man's death. Day was found dead floating in the Illinois River on September 4th. His body was not identified until weeks later by the LaSalle County Coroner on September 23rd. Unfortunately, per the coroner Richard Plot. There is no specific positive test at autopsy for drowning. Drowning is considered a diagnosis of exclusion with supportive investigation circumstances when a person is found deceased in a body of water. The coroner said they did not find any evidence of intoxication, injury, strangulation, assault, alter you know, anything like that. No altercation, and it still remains unknown how they ended up in the Illinois River or in that area in the first place. And again, his family did and still suspects foul play in his death because, for one, they said that all his personal belongings were found scattered away from where his body was found. According to his mother, Carmen Bolden Day, Jelani did not just disappear into thin air. Somebody knows something, somebody's seen something, and I need somebody to say something. And really quick, you guys, I'm going to let you watch a video clip of the news story, the breaking news. And of course, before we do that, before we proceed to the video, I'm going to post up our copyright disclaimer real quick. Tonight, we know he drowned. But the coroner's report on Jelani Day opens up even more questions about his final moments. Tonight, CBS 2's Meredith Barrick is live in our Streetside studio with new information in the case. Meredith. Brad, it is confirmed that Jelani Day did d drown in the Illinois River, but how he got there still remains a mystery. It is some closure for his family, who have been very vocal about his disappearance and still likely have many questions tonight. Jelani Day was last seen at a cannabis dispensary near the Illinois State Campus in Bloomington on August 24th. The 25-year-old grad student's car was found two days later in a wooded area near the Illinois Valley YMCA in Peru, which is 60 miles north of Bloomington in LaSalle County. His body was found on September 4th in the Illinois River, not far from where his car had been located. On September 23rd, his body was finally identified, with police calling his death very suspicious. Last week, he was laid to rest. Day's mother has been critical of authorities' efforts since he went missing. She has called upon the FBI to get involved in the investigation of her son's death. Here's what she told CNN's John Berman about that. I need answers because the police departments that were involved in searching for my son and looking for my son and finding answers for my son failed me. Um, they failed my child. The LaSalle County coroner says there was no evidence of strangulation, assault, a gunshot wound, or significant drug intoxication, among other things. As for how Jelani got into the water, the coroner says that remains unknown. The Rainbow Push Coalition and Reverend Jesse Jackson are hosting a Justice for Jelani Day march tomorrow in Peru. That begins at noon. Reporting live from our street side studio, I'm Meredith Barrick, CBS 2 News. And that there was the news report of the breaking news of Jelani Day's autopsy report. Again, they determined that the cause of death was drowning. And also, as the news reporter did say, there was a march put together for Jelani Day, which was today, um, Tuesday, October 26th at 12 p.m. It was put together by the Rainbow Push Coalition. And as some of you might know, Reverend Jesse Jackson Sr. is the founder and president of the Rainbow Push Coalition. And I'll show you that picture of the flyer right now. 
That right there is a picture of the flyer that I found on uh, Reverend Jesse Jackson Sr.'s uh, Twitter, which is also um, the Rainbow Push Coalition Twitter page. And if you go to the Rainbow Push Coalition Twitter page, where, again, Reverend Jesse Jackson Sr. is the founder and president, you'll see a post there 18 hours ago um, that said Reverend Jesse Jackson does not believe the newly released autopsy report, which said they um, drowned with no signs of injury before the drowning. And again, his parents don't believe that to be true as well. They do believe, still believe that there was some foul play. And I have to say, I agree. This is just too suspicious, especially for a young boy who was on his swim team in high school, they said, who is a very good swimmer. So I, I really hope I really hope and pray that somebody takes it upon themselves and come forward. Whether you did it, whether you participated, whether you stood by, whether you watched, whether you you heard something, please, please come out and say something. Please come out and say something. Because again, like Jelani Day's mother said uh, when she was on Good Morning America, Jelani did not just disappear into thin air. Somebody knows something. Somebody sees something. And she needs somebody to say something. We need somebody to say something. And on that note, everybody, again, please like and share this video. Subscribe to um, the channel if you're not already subscribed. Please and thank you very much. I appreciate you guys for stopping by today. I hope the rest of your Tuesday goes well and the rest of your week as well. And again, um, stay safe, be blessed, remain vigilant at all times, as we always say. And instead of just taking care of yourself, take it upon yourself to look out for somebody else as well. Bye.